So we need to, to start, we need to talk about a little bit about uh, vocabulary. So does anybody know what a conjecture is? What do we mean by a conjecture? Anybody know what that means? If I make a conjecture. Sounds like conjunction. Um, conjecture in everyday everyday language, we would say a conjecture is a guess. But we're not just guessing out of the blue. We're 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 guessing based on evidence. We're guessing based on observation. So a conjecture is a guess. We're to make it a little more specific we're going to say that uh, conjecture is something we think is true based on evidence or observation. Sort of like a hypothesis. So we, 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 do, we look at things, we measure things, we observe things, and we think, okay, this, this seems like it, it is true. What we do in math, though, is we never just go straight from a conjecture. Once we make a conjecture, we have to prove it. So once we make a conjecture, we have to prove that it's true. Some things we, we accept without proof, those are our postulates, but normally we'll make a conjecture based on observation or uh, evidence, and then we are going to we are going to do a proof. So that's that's part that's what we're going to do today. When we when we when we make conjectures based on observations, that is called inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning is making conjectures based on observation. So what we're doing is, it's kind of like what, what a detective does. A detective looks at the evidence and says, well, I think that, that this is what happened, this is how the crime happened, and then goes about putting together a, an argument that shows that what he thinks is true. So inductive reasoning is like gathering, like the detective gathering evidence, and then we're going to use deductive reasoning to put together our proof. So inductive reasoning is coming up with our conjecture, seeing what we think is true, and then we're going to use deductive reasoning to show that it that it actually is true. So we're going to we're going to make a conjecture about something. Well, let's let's uh, let's make a definition first. Anybody have questions about what we mean by a conjecture? All right. So let's let's define something that we call vertical angles. And then we're going to make a conjecture about vertical angles. So I'm just going to draw several examples. And I'm going to label my angles. So angles, we call angles vertical if they're across basically across this X from each other. So angle one and angle two, angle three and angle four are vertical angles. Same thing here. 
angle one and angle two, angle three and angle four. So anytime two angles are across this X from each other, we call them vertical angles. And we call them vertical because normally we think of them as being up and down across the X like this. So same thing here. Angle one and angle two, angle three and angle four. So those are vertical angles. We call those vertical angles or a vertical pair. Now we're going to make a conjecture about how we think vertical angles are related to each other. So just looking, looking at these, let's look at these and then we'll get a little more specific. Looking at these angles, anybody have a guess as to how angle 1 and 2, angle 3 and 4 are related? Just based on how they look. What's that? Um, well, these could, these are close to 90 degrees, but how about, how about these two? Uh, what? Three and four, one and two are obtuse. Yeah, Jenna? They're the same angles. They look like they have the same measure. Let's, let's draw some more and see if we can, see if that, that makes sense. So we're gathering evidence. We're making observations. So let's draw some more vertical angles. Um, so here, we'll just look at one pair here. Well, here, um, I'm telling you which one is one and which one is two. I'm labeling them, I'm telling you which one is which. So let's look at... It's just... I, the picture tells you this is angle one, this is angle two. That's how you know. It tells you. This is angle three, this is angle four, because that's what that picture tells you. Um, so let's look at let's look at these two angles. These two angles are vertical angles, and we think that they might be have the same measure. So let's measure them. So here's my protractor. Set it on the vertex there. We'll measure the first angle. This one looks like it's at, oh, I missed, I put the uh, thing on the wrong side. There we go, I want to do it that way. So this looks like it's about, right about 60 degrees. So this angle here is right about 60 degrees. Let me go around here to this angle. Measure that angle down there. It looks like it's pretty close to 60 degrees also. So they look like they have the same measure. So based on w the way they look and based on a measurement, one measurement, that seems like it's true. Let's do one other pair. So we'll make them so it's not exactly the same as this one. And we're going to measure that angle and that angle. Those two are vertical angles. They're across the X from each other. So let's measure those. So get my protractor again. And this angle looks like it's at about 120, I don't know, 128 degrees, this angle here. About 128 degrees. Let's go measure this one down here. This one looks like it's at about 128 degrees or so also. So it seems to make sense that they have the same measure. So that's our conjecture. Vertical angles have the same measure. And another way we could say same measure are, is that they are congruent. Same measure and congruent mean the same thing. So that's our conjecture. Do you have a question? Okay. So that's our conjecture that they have the same measure. Now, now if, 
we're not going to just accept that that's true, we're going to prove that it's true. So we know that it's true always. We did a couple of measurements, it was true for these two measurements, but we want to know that it's true for any possible measurement of the angle. So let's prove it. So we always do with our conjecture. So we're going to prove our conjecture. So here is our proof. We have some vertical angles here. And I'm going to label these 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're given, we know that angle 1 and angle 2 are vertical angles. This is, these two are vertical angles, that's what we said vert how vertical angles were situated. So we know that they're vertical angles. We want to prove that the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 2. So here is our proof. We're going to do a two column proof. Put our statements there. Our reasons here. Keep ourselves nice and organized. All right, so for this particular proof, we're going to start with what we're given. So my first statement is angle one and angle two are vertical angles. And my first reason is given. That, that's given to us. We know that to start with. That's what we call our, our given. It's what we know to start with. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start by looking at angle one and angle three. What kind of angles are angle one and three? We gave these kinds of angles a special name before. Two angles that, are, that make up a line. Anybody remember? They're a pair of angles that make up a line. We call them a linear pair. Angle one and three are a linear pair. What do the what do angles one? If we added up the measures of angle one and three, what do they have to add up to? 180. Linear pair were supplementary. Linear pairs added up to 180. So my second step is going to say that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle three equals 180 degrees. And our reason for that is because they are a linear pair. That's all we have to say for our reason. That's how we know that. Well, let's look at angle 2 and angle 3. What kind of angles are they? They're also a linear pair. So what do, what do their measures have to add up to? Their measures also have to add up to one another. So my third step is going to say the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3. And I, that's the same reason, because they're a linear pair. Well, now we know that these two, measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 3 is 180, and the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is 180. So what can we say about these two? They're both equal to the same thing. So what can we say about these two? They're, well, they're, they're not, we don't have a pair of angles, but if, if A is 7 and B is 7, what can we say about A and B? Aren't they equal to each other? If A is 7 and B is 7, then A equals B. They both equal 7. So we can say these two things are equal to each other. They both equal 180. So they have to be equal to each other. So measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 3 
equals the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3. And my reason for that would be that I'm substituting measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3 for 180. I can take this because this is equal to 180. I can substitute it into that equation. So my reason there is substitution. And now I'm almost done. What is the same on both sides of these equations? What's on, what's, what thing is on both sides of those equations? Mm -hmm. Measure of angle 3. And it's being added to both sides. How can I undo addition? Uh, subtraction. So I'm going to subtract. I'm just going to write this step in red here. If I subtract the measure of angle 3 from both sides, what happens to the measure of angle 3? It, it disappears. It's just a number. So I'm subtracting a number from itself. So I get 0. So all I'm left with is the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 2. I subtracted the measure of angle 3 from both sides. So my reason is subtraction. And isn't that what we were trying to prove? Measure of angle 1 equals measure of angle 2. Now I'm done with my proof. We knew that the angles were vertical angles. And because these angles formed a linear pair, we were able to prove that those two angles had the same measure. So we made a conjecture about our vertical angles, and then we proved our, our conjecture. Once we prove our conjecture, then we have a theorem. So we've just proved another theorem. So let's write that down. This is the vertical angle theorem. The vertical angle theorem says if two angles form a vertical pair, then they are congruent. So now we have another theorem that we can work with when we're learning things about angles, triangles, other shapes. We know that vertical angles are congruent. And that's our vertical angle theorem. And just again, as a reminder, vertical angles are situated where we have two lines or two segments that make an X. And they're, ver they're across the X from each other. Angle 1 and angle 2. Angle 3 and angle 4 are vertical angles. So we made a conjecture and we proved our conjecture by making a proof. <clears throat> now when you start, when we start practicing on doing proofs, I'm just going to go back here really quick. Um, you're not going to have to come up with all of this on your own. What will happen, the way you'll see these mostly, is most of the proof will be filled in and you might have to say that you know that measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 3 is 180 degrees might, it might leave this reason blank. And you would have to fill in the reason, the reason being that it's a linear pair. You might, it might give you this step and this step and say what's the reason you can figure that out and you would have to realize that we subtracted the measure of angle 3 from both sides and the subtraction property tells you you can do that. So when we first start doing proofs you're just going to be filling in a reason here and a reason there or maybe one step here and one step there to, to complete the proof. You're not going to have to come up with all of this on your own, but eventually you'll be able to come up with a, with a, with a simple proof all on your own. But at first you'll just be filling in a reason here and a statement there to complete the proof. But this is what we came up with from our conjecture. We just proved the vertical angle here based on our conjecture.
So we made a guess from our observations, from our measurements, and then we made a proof from things that we already knew. Questions? Okay.